Okay, I'm going to show you how to migrate from a regular Suica commute plan to the new off-peak Suica commute plan. I've downloaded the new, newest, latest version of Suica app, which is 3.2, and that is the version that you'll need to order, be able to purchase the new off-peak commute, commute plans. So what I will do is I will go into the ticket menu here and tap on commute plans. Now, if I go ahead and purchase tap on the new button here, it will tell me that I already have a valid Suica commute plan and that I cannot purchase a new one. So what I need to do is to go here and get a refund and cancel out the regular previous um, one that I already have now and purchase a new off-peak plan. So that's what I'm going to do. So this screen tells us is an information screen that shows, explains that the refund will cost 220 yen plus the balance of how many days you have left on your current valid plan. So let's go ahead and go to the next screen and it will show my current plan and the validity period. And down here at the bottom, it will show the amount that is calculated for the refund amount plus the 220 yen fee. And at the very bottom, you'll see the amount that will be refunded back to your Apple Pay card, um, which makes it very easy because you don't have to go through a bank transfer or any of that mess that you do with uh, when you cancel out a Suica card. So now that we are ready to get a refund, let's go ahead and tap on the refund button, the green here, the green button at the bottom here. And it asked me, do I really want to go ahead and get a refund? And yes, I do. And let that process. I imagine it's a pretty busy day because this is the first day for the student, uh, high school student and junior high school student mobile Suica passes along with off-peak. So it might take a little bit of processing time to get this done. We shall see. So. Now that we have the refund out of the way, let's go back to our ticket management menu and then we'll go in here to the commuter plans and then we'll tap new. And here you see the new options that are available with Suica app 3.2. We have the regular and off peak passes at the top. Then we have the green and then we have the new student menus that are here at the bottom. And you can see the new student menus. We have university, high school, and junior high school. So a lot of kids are going to be really happy with their mobile Suica passes, right? Okay. <laughs> so let's go in here to the regular off-peak option. And let me enter my station points here. So I think I have them. Yeah. And we'll go to Ikigami. Okay. And then go to Next. And there will be a whole bunch of root options that are offered, but I always go with the cheapest and fastest one, which is always at the top. The more complex ones usually go to the bottom, and they're more expensive. So I'll go with the cheapest, easiest route. And this is the new off-peak option and regular menu option here. All you do is you have a toggle switch now that goes between the regular plan and the off-peak plan. And I'm going to start today is going to be my start date. And also right below the toggle switch you can see that it lists both the JR line and if you have a connecting line it also lists that other transit line and whether they offer off-peak or not. Right now JR East is the only one that's offering the off-peak plans and um, but it seems like maybe in the future the other lines will might offer that option, which is why I think they're displaying it right now. So I'm going to go ahead and choose six months. And then we get a warning here that be sure to remember that the off-peak commute plan is only valid during the off-peak hours. Now remember, every station has its own peak time, and the station... Transit gates will also display a peak hour uh, indicator when peak hour or peak time is in effect. Uh, so just make sure that you don't enter the gates during the peak time because otherwise you're just going to be charged regular Suica fare and the system will completely ignore your, computer, your commuter plan. 
So let's go ahead and OK that. And then we're going to purchase it with Apple Pay. And hopefully the server isn't too slammed. We'll see. OK, we're done. And as you see, we have a new tattoo <laughs> on my Suica card. And that's it. So it's pretty simple. It's just basically just like buying a regular pass, except you just switch on an option and you're done. So happy transit.